Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to put together my um, mermaid tail pattern which will be available on my website. The pattern looks really big but um, you can downsize it. I just printed it large for the video. So what I did, I like to use um, like a stiffer pattern when I'm making a lot of hair bows so I just used a piece of a box and um, cut the pattern out so as you can see this is printed um, this was printed in a smaller size and the instructions will be inside of the pattern the link will be in the description so I'm gonna make this two different ways as you can see with the first one I have the full pattern with the extra optional piece here right here and then the inside layer for the second one I have just the top the front part the tail and the center I also have clip a piece of ribbon to line the clip and my hot glue gun normally I would sew if I'm selling these I would sew these together but for tutorial purposes I'm just going to hot glue it so let's get into it Okay, so I'm going to prepare my hair clip first. going to go ahead and secure the edges of the ribbon so it doesn't fray. And we're just going to start putting the ribbon onto the hair clip. Okay, so as you can see now we have our hair clips they are lined this is what they look like from the back so one for there one for here as I said I'm using my hot glue gun for this tutorial um, normally I would sew them together so this is this is just really simple really easy but I wanted to make this pattern for the longest time for you guys so basically you're just going to put it together Let's glue that together and then I like to do it like this for the tail just gonna put it on like that and then you'll have your middle piece so you won't be able to see that it's separate and you can use whatever type of material that you want to use for this tutorial I love glitter and sparkly things, which is why I'm using <laughs> a glitter fabric. And I will leave the link to my Amazon shop where I have where I purchased this. I actually did get this uh, fabric glitter fabric uh, canvas sheets from Amazon. So just look in my Amazon shop, um, and you'll find it in there. So what I like to do. It's a little bit different from what most people will probably do. I leave my centerpiece long until I know how much of it I want to use for the bow. And lining it just makes it easier, I think, when we're making the bow. Because you don't have to worry about it sticking um, to the other side of the metal. So there's that and then we're going to close up here. Okay and then you just cut off the excess. Now 
being careful not to cut the main part of the bow. So here's the first one or you can turn it that way whichever way you like it. So here's our first one. Let's move on to the second one. So we're just going to put this one together pretty much the same way but like for this one I have the optional piece. So what I'm going to do is just put this together just like I did the other one. Now for this, because I'm using the full piece, it's just pretty much going to be the same. You just kind of fold it. And it's going to be like that. So you're not going to fold it all the way down to the tail because that's what it'll look like. You're just going to fold it to that center piece. And if it makes it easier for you to do it from the front way, that way you can see what's going on. Okay, now for this piece you can either layer it somehow under there or you can do like I'm going to do and kind of put it right there. And this would be cute if you were going to add a name or something like that to it. So as you can see from the back I'm just going to kind of match it up here. So that's what it looks like from the back. That's what it looks like from the front. And then we're just going to add our centerpiece, add our hair clip. We're done. Easy peasy. Okay, now this one I'm going to need to trim down a little bit more first, just because it's so much of it. Okay, like I said before, cut off the excess. Put a little bit more on there. There we have it. Easy, quick, simple. Just use my pattern. You can make these in so many different ways. You can make them bigger, you can make them smaller. Like I said, for the pattern, all you have to do is readjust it. Um, just size it down or size it up in the percentage um, before you print it and that's how you get um, a smaller or bigger size. And so we did this two different ways. We made a bow with the optional piece and then we made the bow with two separate uh, pieces of fabric. Plain fabric here and then we have the mermaid uh, scale fabric. I think these are really really cute. Autumn actually really loves these and I've been making these for the website. I actually do sell these on my website so if you guys would like to just buy them if you don't want to make them you could go ahead and check out my website. Uh, it is linked in the description and you could just purchase these. I sell them actually in a six pack so you can check that out. There is some new items added to that website. Um, hair bows. I will be working on um, tutu outfits soon for the holidays so yeah make sure you keep up with the website check that out if you would like to follow me on social media guys all of that is linked in the description make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed give me a big old thumbs up on this video let me know you liked it and until next time bye